As spring ball marches on, the Jayhawks are finding their rhythm, both as individuals and as a unit. But for real progress to happen, the team will have to change more than just their mindset. Probably most importantly for this program right now and our players, we've got to improve on stopping the run. We have to improve on tackling. Offensively, we have to continue to work on balance and find more playmakers. We have to improve in every way. Quite honestly, we, we probably played a number of players last year who, from a physical standpoint, maybe weren't ready for, it, and maybe even an emotional standpoint sometimes, a maturity standpoint. I'm, I'm anxious to see our growth in those areas. You know, the one thing that's great about football is that, you know, you get to hit a reset button every year. So as you get into spring football, it's gonna be about fundamentals. But then there's gonna be a component, as we're talking about here, where we need to understand the limitations and abilities of all of our players. And that they have an understanding. It's as much about them and their evaluation of themselves. The first emphasis of this spring ball is connect. The second emphasis, you have to believe the culture that we're trying to cultivate. Everything starts from there. As long as we come with the same effort, attitude, and attention to detail every day, we're going to grow. We want to be special. We want to be a part of the change here at Kansas, and we want to do everything in our power to achieve that. Throughout Lawrence, the Jayhawks draw pride, support, and respect from diehard fans something veteran safety Kenny Logan hopes to bring from the hardwood to the gridiron. Um, it's, definitely, it's definitely always fun to come out and uh, support my boys on the basketball team. Definitely trying to get the same type of energy, the same type of environment in the booth next fall. When you lose it, it's always something that you're trying to get better at to change so you can help go to the next step and win. Energy level is different. Gotta have that. After last year, it's like, of course, the W's weren't always there, but it was kind of exciting to play football last year because we were in a lot of games. I'm looking forward most of the spring to just to see it all come together a little bit and just keep chopping wood until that day come where the culture has changed and we're back winning. All right, morning. morning. We'll try it again. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. I'm very proud of where we're heading and what we've accomplished to this point. I'm watching guys grow. I'm watching them mature. I'm watching them gain confidence. I'm watching them try to step out of their comfort zone. But simply put, our main goal is to get better, individually and collectively. Okay? And it starts with your mindset. A change in mindset also means a fresh perspective, and nothing provides more perspective than a healthy culture. When people think about culture, a lot of people think about mission statements and things that maybe are just words on the walls. We install culture with our team just like we install an offensive playbook. There are aspects of culture that are really tangible, but there are a lot of aspects of culture that you just feel. We already have a really good, strong foundation of that. What I think we've needed to build upon is more clarity of vision, more transparency around where we're trying to go. Our cultural days are to number one is to define the standard. It's to make sure that there is no gray area in our program. And what I mean by gray area is up for interpretation. I don't know what that standard mean, coach. I don't know what that core value means. Well, now you do, because we're going to install it week by week. The next most essential part of it is then teaching them how to actually implement the culture on a day-to-day -day basis. For Coach Leipold and his staff, implementing the new culture begins with discipline and accountability. Get back. Lock in the personnel, everything should be good rotations. Here we go, call it, let's go, JD. I think sometimes as soon as we think about, about accountability and structure, we think of that there's like this big, huge team handbook of rules. It's pretty simplistic, really. Let's go, hurry up, let's go. 
There's certain things in the weight room you need to do. Do you have a body weight goal? Leaving your locker a certain way, being prepared for a meeting. Amazing on time with workouts, making sure you're five minutes early to everything. Just making sure you're behind the line, you're not on the line. Make sure you stay on whistle, make sure you stay on beat. Little things like that. Four, two. We, we focus a lot on the, on the little things here. That's one of our main points as a, as a culture, because the little things um, will show up big on Saturdays. Everything I do in my life, I probably can relate it back to football. It's taught me a lot of different life skills, like holding people accountable, holding yourself accountable, facing adversity, overcoming adversity. You're chilling right now. You're chilling right now. We gotta wake up. It's a great day to have a great day. We have a saying that one of our spring objectives is to master the mundane skills. The mundane things typically are the difference between being a disciplined individual, and in our case, a program, and not. What I've learned from being a father, if, if you truly love them, you will discipline them. And so I've learned that a lot about coaching athletes too. All right, everybody stay where you are. Okay, we got our call-ups today. Every week, um, if you messed up throughout the week, um, we all get in a big circle and uh, we have to do up-downs as a whole team. It's not that we do these, it's how we do them. Take pride in it. Here, brush your feet. They go into the middle of that circle and they have to look at their teammates and they have to say, my name is so-and-so, and I let our team down. Locker violation, we got one. <sighs> We're able to distinguish the ones who are bought in and who's not. They like the tutoring, we have one. <sighs> You're gonna see if somebody missed class. You're gonna see if somebody went late to class. You're gonna see if somebody missed their body weight. Late to team meeting, we got one. <sighs> <sighs> We're trying to teach our guys ownership. When you make a mistake, we'll deal with a mistake as long as we learn from it. Everyone makes mistakes, but you know it takes really good leadership to be able to acknowledge those mistakes and then try to get them to change or see what they did wrong and make a change off of that. Two, You're gonna run it today. You better not be slow. Come on now. Come on. We gotta move. 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 Good. There we go. Finish. When I look at our, our academic report and I see that we've had zero misses in two weeks. I know that we're teaching these young men discipline. I know that when we become one of the largest penalized teams in the country to one of the least penalized teams in the country, I know these young men are learning what accountability is. No days off, ain't no kind of breaks. Till we on top, ain't no time to waste. Yeah, we need it right away. We ain't trying to wait. Anybody try to violate, we annihilate. I thought that we would have a lot of resistance to all the things we would ask these athletes to do, and we haven't. The physical piece of the development of just sheer size and just time with them in our program, that's been the biggest challenge that we need to continue to fight. It's gonna be fun. Dominate, 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 dominate.